Hey, what's up guys? Brian Savage here with you. And today I have uh, back up on the bench what was last video called Mystery Amp. Uh, the mystery has been somewhat solved in that I do know this is made by Valco. I do know it was made in the late 60s. I also know that this was uh, also called a Supro Trojan. Uh, it was also called uh, a, something under national um, or something under custom, uh, like a Model 900 under that. Quite a few different names, but this was produced by Valco in what I can tell the mid 60s. A um, couple things. I added the fuse holder. This was missing, and uh, it was the. I put in another cord. I put in a three prong cord and I haven't put that to ground yet uh, which I'm going to do I'm in the middle of this thing really and soldered on this because it was right there so I'm assuming it went there and from what I can tell it does I haven't went all the way through the schematic yet but I did find a schematic for it if you can make that out yeehaw all right now I want to thank the Tone King so so much Buddy, your help in sharing the last video on the Mystery Amp and the information you gave me led me down roads that led me to the answers I was looking for. And for that, thank you. That is the power of these social medias, uh, Facebook and YouTube and things like that. So if you see something that's uh, like I had that out and I needed some help, uh, share it. You know, I, I try to do that kind of stuff and... Um, uh, the Tone King did it, you know, for little old me, somebody he's never met in the world. Um, he saw my video and shared it out, and he's got quite a following, so it, it helped out. So, Tone King, one of those bad boys right there for you. Um, anyway, um, so now I'm, I'm in the middle of this. I had to replace a couple things. Uh, there was a wire, this wire here. Uh, it had been uh, chewed on and had bare exposure to it uh, where these things are taped coming out of the transformer. Um, that was just bare exposed wire where uh, the Mouseketeers had chewed on it. The power cord was just a two lead and it was chewed all up. This is the speaker output, the ground and the positive for the output on the speaker. It come with a 10 inch speaker and whoever did it before, whoever had this amp, or did something to this amp before me. This extension cord piece that you see here is what they had soldered in and then soldered to the speaker. Well, actually it wasn't even soldered to the speaker. And then the power cord, here's the power cord, just like a white lamp cord. That's all garbage. Actually, uh, I recycle those. I give them to a guy that uh, strips all the... That's what he does. He watches TV and he strips all the rubber stuff off of them, all the shielding off of them, and then recycles the copper or whatever the alloys is. Um, hey, God bless him for recycling it. So I give all my spare wire, even little pieces to him, and he loves it. Um, so, Roger, you got some more coming your way. Anyway, um, so that's what... Look at the other side. I've, I've pulled the tubes out for, you know, of course it just sitting around. I haven't plugged it in or anything yet. I got a ways to go, but uh, I started doing, you can tell I did a little bit of cleanup on this. I actually just used some oil on a rag to really easily lift this the, the rust off of it. See how not rusty. Rusty. <laughs> So I only did this part here so I could make sure I was reading these right. It is 12X7, 12X7, 6V6, and 5Y3. This is, let me make sure I tell you right. Yeah. This is the preamp tube. This is used, this tube is used for the oscillation on the uh, tremolo. Power tube, rectifier tube. Okay. Uh, this cap, I'm not sure how it's going to check out, but after I get all this job inside rewired, uh, if, um, if this cap's bad, 
what I wound up doing, as you can see, here's where the cap comes in. And guys, I have checked this. Note, right now I want to tell you, if you don't know what you're doing inside these, stop. Get somebody that does. There is high voltages that are carried in this thing way after it's been unplugged that can kill you. No joke. So if you don't know what you're doing, do not do this. This is not something you experiment with. This is something you research. This is something you learn before you get in or you will die. Thank you. Now, back to this. I'll take this cap out and in these series of, of, of terminals, this terminal strip right here with these resistors, this is where all this comes from. Uh, everything that comes into it pretty much comes into it here and then out to the tubes, uh, the ground, to the rectifier, to the power tube, the red wire comes out here and feeds the two uh, 12AX7s. I'll just use each stage of this. I think it's a 20, 20, 10. Uh, what did it say? 20, 10, 10. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out. Let's see if I can get it in light. 20, 10, 10 at 450 volts. Uh, I will simply just take this out instead of trying to buy one of these big old caps. I will get... Uh, I'll use another type of cap and then just wire it into here. Um, I think it, it'd come out a lot cleaner and uh, it would get rid of that thing sticking out of there. Not that that matters. It just, to me, I like it just, just to see transformers. You know, you've got an output transformer, the little one there, choke output transformer. You got the input transformer and then you know, this here, and then if you got rid of that, then all you see is the tubes on this. And I kind of like how that looks. So I may do that if this, this cap don't check out. But uh, if you guys got any more suggestions or anything on this, let me know. I've got a lot of work to do as far as, um, I think this wire here is the center tap that's going to go to ground. Show you here if I can find my cursor. Here we go. All right, so here's my problem here. I have found this wire and this wire that goes to the rectifier tube, and this and this wire goes to the rectifier tube, and then these three here feed the first or the power tubes, the 12x7, 12x7, and this would be the 6v6. Um, and those two wires, and everything's hooked up there. Now. The problem is, is after I trace that down, again, we've got these two wires coming out, and those go to those pins, these two wires go out and they start out, and they terminate actually all on the rectifier tube. Then you have these wires that come out terminate in the rectifier tube just as they're supposed to. Then we have one wire comes out, black wire comes out and hooks into one side of the wire that goes into the switch. So there's one wire out of the power transformer goes into the switch. And the other side of the power transformer wire is where I'm trying to find out where to terminate it. it as you can see, here it is. And uh, I don't know. I'm uh, I'm kind of at a loss as to where it terminates. Um, both of these wires go down in here and they feed the pilot light. So there's the pilot light. And so here's one half of the power to the pilot light. And it comes up. Here's the other half of the power to the pilot light hooked up. Power cord comes in and hooks directly to the fuse panel. So that gets one side of the power down in it um, and here's the other power cord coming in and that gets the other side of the power goes in so I don't know do I terminate this one here I can't figure it out do I terminate it here this other one or is it going to go on the switch itself I don't know I uh, again this is the section I'm dealing with in the output transformer. And all of this side, I have found all the wires except for this center tap wire. Now, 
it's easy to assume since this is all the output side of the transformer that this one wire that's loose would be my center tap wire. So I have my two input wires, or I'm sorry, yes, my, my, my two input wires here that deal with my switch, on off switch, and then this is going to be, I believe, the fuse. So I'm this section right here. This is where my lost wire is. This wire coming out. Oh, I ain't got it figured out yet, but I'll do some more research. Again, everyone who helped out, everyone who shared information, got me links, especially TK, man, TTK, rather, I should say. You rock, buddy. And uh, so, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean this thing up. I mean, I, I know it's rough looking. Um, there's the cabinet down there. And it does look rough. Sorry for the quick panning there. But I got the schematic now, so I'm halfway home free. Share the music. Share these kind of videos. Well, not this one in particular, but the ones where people are looking for information and help out. I promise you I'm going to do a whole lot more of it because people saved me to do this one. Uh, sorry for the bad lighting. Sorry for the bad camera work, but I do the best I can. Peace out.